So Quizlet Live is a feature of Quizlet that is so awesome it deserves its own video. So some conditions that you need in order to play Quizlet Live. First off, you need a study set, and that study set has to consist of a minimum of 12 items. Anything less and you won't be able to play live. More is certainly optional. The other condition that has to be there is there's a minimum of six players that are necessary to play. So as long as you have both of those conditions met, you're good to go. The way that you start a Quizlet Live game is to go to your study set at quizlet.com as the teacher, and click this live button. Again, your students won't have this option. When you click this live button, it'll bring you to a little video that explains what's going on, but you'll have the option to create a game. Now, this is the part where your students need to have some interaction. You want them to go to this website, quizlet.live, and they're gonna be prompted to join, uh, enter a join code, which is unique for your game. Meanwhile, you're waiting for their names to show up here. So if you give me a second, I'll get some other devices going. We'll get the names in. You'll see how that goes. Now, you may have noticed that the code changed. That's because I had a different game set up to go. Um, but all I did on a different, couple different computers, and you can also do this on a mobile device, not from the Quizlet app right now, but through the web browser in your smartphone, you can go to quizlet.live. You can enter in that code. Life is good to go. Now, if a student puts in an inappropriate name, for example, if, if maybe this was not appropriate here, we just click on them and whoop, it kicks them out. And on the device, it brings them back to the point where it says, what's your first name? So they can retype in what an appropriate name would be. Great, so you can see now that I have six students, I'm all set to go, I can say create the game. First thing it does is it splits all the players into teams. In this case, I have camels and I have rhinos. And I can see who's on the team, they can all get together, and life is good. On the student's end, it puts up a picture of the team that they're on, the animal that they're on, with the names of their teammates. So we suggest getting them together for this next part. But as a teacher, when I'm all good, I say start game. And what ends up happening is we on our devices, uh, let me see if I can bring this up for you. Okay, so let's see what it looks like from a student perspective. Uh, here I am, I have a picture, or I'd have a word up here on the top, and I have some different choices, Mickey Mouse, Goku, Woody, and Wally. Now, I can see on my team, Polly V and Taylor, they have some choices as well, but I can't see what they are. The idea is one of us has the correct answer that matches with this picture. So since I know this is a minion, I don't have a minion. That means Polly V or Taylor does, and they want to click it. If we click the correct answer, we move forward. If we click, for example, an incorrect answer, we go back to zero. But the important part, like you can see here, it tells me what the right answer was, both for the picture and what I said. So it's a great opportunity to learn. So again, with this, if you get the right answer, you move forward. If you get the wrong answer, you go all the way back to zero and do them all again, however many you need. Uh, so that's a great way of reinforcing the correct responses. But first team to 12 wins. So there you go, Quizlet Live. Um, definitely an awesome tool. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. But thank you for watching.